I mean, I really enjoy what I do, working with cows, working, you know, crops, taking care of the land. It's always exciting because there's always something you could be better at. So continuing to want to get better and do better and also being able to just look back from how we used to do things before and are changing things, yeah, makes it fun. So this is our milk silo. We just installed it this spring uh, in March. It holds about 86,000 pounds of milk. We get picked up once a day. They pick up around 65 to 66,000 pounds of milk at a time. Um, but if we were to do just one truckload a day, it would be um, about every 32 hours is when we would get a full truckload. Once a day, they come and pick up the milk. Um, and when they're done picking up the milk, they will do a full wash on the silo. So we pull the door off, hook everything up, and um, just go on the computer screen, and we program it to wash, and it sanitizes the tank completely, cleaning any leftover milk or anything that would be in it. Helps keep everything clean, and the milk quality. Hey girls, come on. Shh, 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 shh. So we use um, on our dairy the Future Cow Cow Brush, which has uh, three rotating brushes on it. Um, and this is what we use to prep the cow before milking. So you hit this little button on the back, on the bottom, the light kicks on and it shoots a uh, solution. Um, and that sanitizes um, the cows before we hang the milking unit on. Coco was built for the spotlight. Here she is, she's loving. Coco, come here, get going. Come say hi. Yeah, there she is. This is our forage harvester. We use this to chop all our crops that feed our cows. This here is the corn head. There's uh, blades on the bottom. They come on and they cut the bottom of the corn plant and then these drums will feed it through and it'll go through the whole machine where it gets broken down into small little pieces and the kernels from the corn will go through a kernel processor and uh, out the end of the chopper. It'll come out the, out the end and then it'll then go into a truck and get hauled to the pit. You plant the corn in April, May, and you, you wait that whole growing season and then you come to September and that, that's, what you, that's what you work for. And then to sit in there and see all the, all the corn going through and then obviously it going to the pit to feed the cows for the rest of the year, it's by far my favorite. Favorite job on the farm, by far. This is the feed wagon that we mix all the feed in. This here is what we call the auger. These Augers will have knives on them, bolt-on knives, uh, and that will depend on what kind of ration we're feeding. These are beet pellets, which is a byproduct of sugar beets, and we actually get them right from the plant in Nampa. Good source of fiber and uh, energy. Yeah, this would be considered waste. Sugar beet factory could just extract all the sugar, and then they could just you know, do away with the rest of it. But cows are able to take this and turn it, yeah, into milk. It's with everything though, right? Cotton seed from after cotton harvest, which is also a, yeah, good source of fiber. This is dried distiller's grains, which is actually a byproduct of ethanol. And it is a good source of protein, ground down corn plant or kernel. And it's uh, starch or, yeah, energy for, for the cows. Soy canola blend and it is a high source of protein. So this is essentially dry hay. It gets all mixed up with the rest of the ingredients. Good source of fiber for the cows. This is what I live for. Yeah, this is corn silage. Like this uh, is basically the whole chopped up corn plant. We, we chop it from the fields, put it in the pit, store it for a couple months and then feed it. And by that time it is fully cured. Cows love it. It's triticale that we harvested actually this spring and it is the chopped up uh, triticale plant. And yeah, it got pitted and packed and now we're feeding it out. So another piece of 
technology that we use on our dairy are these um, SCR cow collars. This is the monitoring device. Um, this tracks her rumination, her eating time, her activity. It allows us to treat cows as individuals. They do have a um, infrared sensor. We have a sort gate that all the cows walk through. Um, so we have limited or almost no longer lock up our cows. Um, they get sorted through the sort gate into the sort pen overnight. We go through our fresh cows, any cows that have a health event. Um, we manage them all in one location. And then when we're finished with them, we bring them back to their pen and allow them to carry on with their day.